What's up guys and gals, it's time for the latest chapter review for Kangen Omega. Kangen Omega chapter 254, in fact. Entitled, Start with the Appetizer. And I got one question. One question already out of the gate. Would you? That's right, you. Do you want to split it with me? Because honestly, I ate a late lunch and, you know, like, I, I'm not that full. I have a small stomach and we don't eat at those high-class restaurants. I mean, who can afford it in this day and age, right? So I don't eat at those high-class ones where, yeah, you could eat a five or six or seven course meal because, you know, a filet mignon is like, oh, I'll have the filet mignon with the veggies and all that stuff. It's like you have one carrot stick on top of two ounces of beef at best, maybe 1.5 ounces of beef. Yeah, I can eat seven plates of that, you know? But I'm talking regular restaurant food. I'm talking pub food. I'm talking when you go and you order a steak, they load this plate that's mostly a platter with fries and bread and all that stuff. God forbid you go to an Italian restaurant because you're going to fill up on the bread and the salad before you even get your entree, which is pasta, which is rich and heavy filling. <sighs> you're just screwed, right? You're 100% screwed. So either way, I'm just saying that chapter title, I'm watching you. I'm watching you because once again, Sometimes you split, sometimes you get it, but do you save room for dessert? I don't know. This ain't Torico. All right? So anyways, moving on from that, hat head, because and I'll explain really quick. Just got off work, just came home from the truck ride and stuff, and on the truck ride home, I managed to squeeze in that last little bit of time to be able to read the chapter before, you know, it's locked behind a paywall and all that stuff. Managed to read the chapter. As a result, however, unfortunately, I mean, once again, hat head and stuff didn't uh, didn't have time to shower after work yet. But uh, I will say that normally I have the chapter up here, right, and I'm able to scroll through so I don't miss anything, and, or I read it three or four times before I do my review. This is just going to be off of memory. That's why I'm doing it right now before I do anything else. I'm just going to review it and stuff, and record this later. Hopefully, it drops and and all that jazz. Um, but yeah, because I'm also hoping to stream later too and stuff. Uh, so yeah, either way, this chapter, right out of the gate, cure Ryan's back, baby. Two big thumbs up for that. I immediately know how the fan base, fan base, the fan base is going to react awesome. The fan base is going to be like, cure Ryan. Let's go. He's back. He's mean. He's got stubble and a crow-like trench coat. This man is about to kick some ass. And at first, he was all downer and ooh, doom, gloom. But then that last shot, that last shot, he had his big Joker-esque, you know, grin going forward to let's slice and dice, baby. All right. Cool, cool, cool. What could possibly be wrong with this? Well, um... What does the fans, what does the community love? Well, every anime community loves memes. I mean, look no further. I mean, we all love memes, but once again, look no further than, uh, nah, I'd win. Then it was funny. It was funny. You know, nah, I'd win was funny for, you know, about all of five minutes. And, uh, yeah, it's been like three damn months, and, uh, apparently the internet doesn't think it's old, but let me tell you, I'm pretty, yeah, either way, my point is, is that anime memes are a big part of it, right? And what's one of the memes of Kengen? Well, it's that weapons, weapons, ladies and gentlemen, so badass, so cool, most animes your favorite character uses a weapon. The strongest characters use a, use a weapon and stuff, right? But, huh. In this particular instance, in Kangen, weapons mean failure. Weapons mean jobbers. Weapons mean bitches. So I already know, without even checking the comment sections, I already know that n instead of the entire fan base being super happy that Ryan's back, they're just going to bitch about this. 
Why are you bitching about the fact that one of the badass and insane characters in this series is coming back with the Shodai Kitetsu, same pummel, uh, not this the pummel, the, the same scavenger, to, what's this, the health guard, whatever, uh, same one as the Shodai Kitetsu, so he showed up with the goddamn Shodai Kitetsu, uh, and you're upset that the man showed up with a hockey up black blade. I immediately, I, once again, I haven't even had time to see a single Discord comment, let alone check any, you know, Reddit or YouTube comments or anything else or watch anybody's videos yet. I immediately know some people. I don't know if they'll be the minority or majority. They're going to be pissed about this. They're going to be pissed that the man is about to slice and dice, baby. But I'm not. I'm happy that we finally saw Cure Brian back. He's got badass trench coat. He's got badass stubble. I know a thing or two about growing facial hair. I, f I feel you, Ryan. I feel you. And uh, he's still got this crazy grin, and now he's showing up with one of the most badass weapons in history. It instantly makes every other character cool. I don't know how this happened in Kangen. I don't know why. It's it's a dead meme. It's stupid. Well, it's just, you know, let's just... Uh, Let's let them lie, you know what I mean? So, Kim Ryan is back. He's about to kill that foddered, curly-haired version of a, you know, Willem Woo person, whoever that is. And Willem's going to have his knack cut out for him. But that's the end part of the chapter. The first part of the chapter, one thing, is that... I'm right, baby! you think I would have led with that, but no, I wanted to bitch about the whole sword thing. Um, because swords are badass, Ryan's badass. It's a match made in heaven. You couldn't get a stronger marriage. Um... But that being said, yeah, so I was right on a couple of notes. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do that quite a lot. People are always surprised. But I was absolutely right. And a lot of you had some great theories and stuff, and I wasn't totally against it, but I still said that Shen, other Shen, other connector, has not activated. He didn't act out of character, as many of you think, due to the shading and the ominous tone that he did with Mukaku and stuff. Almost everybody said that. Everybody pointed to this one instance where he was just straightforward. No. Like, like I'm gonna kill you because, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking kill you. You know, you know, everyone assumed that was the other connector talking, man. Do you not see the metaphysical of it all? Shen 100% agrees with me, so you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, uh, he does apparently say something along the phrase of, uh, he's dormant, right? The other connector is inside him and stuff, and he is dormant. Uh, he's never come to the surface, but he's always watching. So Shen has always been the voice, the body, the mind, the whole bit. Everything we've seen up to this point has been Shen. Not the other connector, not the, you know, the... The Oma version, not the Tiger Vessel. No, he has freely admitted that it's like this. He's here, and he's watching everything, but this is the dude with all the decision-making. So, I was right about that. So, pat on the back, kudos to me. Once again, that being said, most of your guys' theories were pretty good, though. Like, it, it could have gone either way. I'm just taking my Ws where I can get them, honestly. Um, but yeah. Do I like the rest of the chapter? Ooh. So the beginning's good because I'm right. Yeah, that always feels good. The end part is awesome because Ryan with a sword. He's there with his waifu, ready to kick ass. And the rest of the in-between. Um, hmm. I'm not crazy about this explanation. Does it make sense? Yes. But it immediately means that Shen sees no issue because they're clones. I also don't... So, Shen is not... I don't, I guess, like the fact that the Tiger's Vessel... Like, there's a lot I don't like about this. And this is just all personal preference. But once again, like, I don't get the 5,000 years. He taught Hoi Seng to the Wu Clan, but the Wu Clan had been doing this for, like, you know... 5,000 years ago, or something like that, or 6,000, 4,000, something like that. It's thousands and thousands of years, but the man's only existed, as far as we knew, for like the last... He has a millennia of knowledge. Wouldn't he have five millennia of knowledge if that was the case? Or Maybe I'm misremembering, once again. But I immediately am thinking, no, nah, this, 
this doesn't add up necessarily, but maybe it does. Maybe I'm just wrong about that. Um, so he taught Hoi Seng, and that, and so it was his last time. So this explains the clone thing. It was the last time, though it still doesn't make sense. I, st I don't get it. Who is Shen then? No, seriously, like, I still have so many questions. Because they do the Bando stuff and the Cyber Brain and all this stuff, and they're going to do what we all said. They're going to use pseudoscience to put Tiger Vessel, the other connector from Shen's brain, into Oma, because that's a clone of him, the true connector, from what they understand, the Tiger's Vessel. And the Dragon's Vessel, which is Ryuki, is going to be Shen. Shen, the, that we know and love, is going to be in Ryuki. Okay. Problem. How they said we don't know which one's the real connector anymore because we decided to clone ourselves, right? And they ended up in the same body. Whether that was due to, I, we don't really know how that happened, but somehow using cloning, they were supposed to split, but they didn't, and I guess the Hoi Seng one up to that point, who was cloned from Alma, ended up being this one. So what they're saying is, what the only explanation I have is that Shen is Ryuki and Alma is, is Tiger, Tiger's Vessel Connector, is that during the last connector, the one that Alma is a pure clone of, during the last one, he cloned himself. Alma is a result of that. Shen is not a clone, but a hoist, or is a clone that was also hoisanged into him, or something. And then now, the only, like, once again, I don't think this makes sense, because the only way that Ryuki is a clone of Shen, but not of Tiger Vessel is to imply that once they realize they fucked up and that's to his like own admission. Once again, I don't have the chapter in front of me. I read it one time. That's all I had time for. But he basically says, okay, so we cloned ourselves. Like we cloned the connector, blah, blah, blah. We tried to put ourselves in that body. We fucked up and we ended up putting two connectors in the body. I don't get how two connectors are in the body. A Hoi Sang version and a clone version. So the same guy but a different body or something like that, I guess. So it's two of the same coin in a way. They want to not have that anymore. But if Ryuki is a pure clone of Shen, how can he be if Shen wasn't Shen until they were two people? And if they were two people, then when they cloned Ryuki, how do they not know that he's not two people? Which would completely explain his, I mean, we just chalk it up to Mukaku in a weird childhood, but it would com completely explain his bipolarism and schizophrenia that has so much evidence in this series that, I mean, seriously. If tomorrow you saw Ryuki's, you know, eyes under a microscope and noticed that it's just a small version of two pu pupils, I wouldn't be shocked. Okay? So... Or are we implying that Shen was Shen before he had the Tiger's Vessel in his body? That implies two connectors. Or it implies a connector was being hoisanged at the time. But if he was being hoisanged at the time and still a clone, I'm, I'm confused. I really am. Somebody can explain it. Once again, I only had one time to read the chapter, so maybe... It is explained more uh, easily than I'm making it out to be. But I didn't get the first run through. Because it doesn't make sense to me that Shen would have been cloned before he was the connector, which would be before the Tiger's Vessel was inside of him, and then Ryuki was cloned, and they're under this... They somehow just know it? Which we don't get an explanation for that Ryuki is a clone with nothing from the Tiger Vessel, even though there's two of them in there and we cloned you after the fact. He's a clone, but he's all Shen and no Tiger's Vessel, and they're going off a limb with that. I can believe the Oma one, because they said they were two people at one point. But who was Shen? Was he the next in line for the Hoi Sang, but he was also a clone? I, I, I don't think that was explained well 
Or maybe I missed a page or a panel or something. As I said, I had to read it on the fly. Uh, maybe I missed something, but yeah. And I don't want theories, guys. Like, I, I love your guys' theories, trust me. But for this one, I don't want theories. I want what actually happened. And I'll probably reread the chapter myself. But can someone explain, with the facts that we have been presented, not a theory, but with the facts, does it all make sense? How is Shen and Ryuki totally separate from Tiger Vessel and uh, Connector and Oma? Because why would you clone Shen before he was had the Tiger Vessel in him? And who the hell was Shen in the first place? How did they fuck this up? You know? Because if you had a clone and he grew up and you immediately went, Dude is me. Totally. That's exactly how I acted at five. Why would you hoist sang him? So I don't get how they, they fucked this up. Unless they hoist sang the dude and then put the brain inside. I... Did we get Dr. Hanafusu involved with this shit? I have no idea. Um, anyway, so... Beginning of the chapter, good. End of the chapter, great. Middle of the chapter, not sure it makes any bloody sense. We'll have to wait and see. But that's it for me, guys. Once again, I can't love or hate the chapter because I don't know if it's just because it was one quick read in the truck and I missed an important reading or I misread something. So once again, be easy on me, guys. Be easy on me on this one because I'm admitting right now I haven't had time to go over all the information. I haven't been able to check any other anybody else's reviews, any comments, anything like that that probably clear up half of what I'm complaining about. So as a result, I'm not going to say the chapter is great or bad or anything like that. I'm just going to say... Does this make sense and post that as a yes no question to you guys is there gaps here that don't make sense or am I just missing something so But that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always and we'll see you guys back here next time For the next chapter of, of Kangen Oh man God Kangen Omega chapter 254 looking forward to 255 seems like we're gonna get some badass Ryan action even if it's with a sword. Never seen swords so disliked by an anime community in my goddamn life.